For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the maximum weight that the crate can be so that the tension in each or in none of the cables exceeds 450 pounds. So basically, you know my steps. First step, find univectors. There are four univectors, one going towards B, one going towards C, one going towards D, and the one going straight down towards C crate. To find all these univectors, we need to find all the points involved, which are A, B, C, and D. Points involved are these, so let me write it. A sits at zero in the I, plus zero in the J, plus zero in the K. A sits at right at the origin. B is minus two in the I, plus one in the J, plus two in the K. C is minus two in the I, minus two in the J, plus one in the K. And D is at three in the I, plus zero in the J, plus zero in the K. So you got univector AV. To do that, you need to find first the vector that goes from A all the way to B. So that is found by subtracting A from B. A is the origin, so it's just vector B. Minus 2 in the I, plus 1 in the J, plus 2 in the K. Then you need to find the magnitude of this vector. To find the magnitude, you need to do the X component square plus the Y component square plus the C component square. So 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square is 9. Square rooted is 3. And the univector AV is given by dividing the vector AV by its magnitude. When you do so, you get that this vector comes out to be minus 0.667 in the I, plus 0.333 in the J, plus 0.667 in the K. Then you need to find the, go through the same motions and find univector AC and univector AD. Univector AC, you basically got to go through the same motions, but replace B for C. And you get that univector AC is minus 0.667 in the I, minus 0.667 in the J, plus 0.333 in the K. And univector AD is going straight in the positive x direction, so it's simply plus 1 in the I. And then the univector for the crate, the one going straight down, is simply minus 1 in the k because it's going straight down on the c-axis. So now that we have all four of the univectors, the second step is to multiply them. Multiply by tensions slash forces. So we have the same amount of tensions and forces as we do univectors. We got tension AB, tension AC, tension AD and the tension created by the weight of the crate, which is, let's say, the weight of the crate. And you're going to multiply each of these by its respective univector. AB times univector AB, AC times univector AC, AD times univector AD, and this is for the, uh, the crate, so it's a univector of the crate. When you multiply them, you get the Cartesian vector form of each of these forces, which looks something like this minus 0.667 tension AB in the I plus 0.333 tension AB in the J plus 0.667 tension AB in the K minus 0.667 tension AC in the I minus 0.667 tension AC in the J plus 0.333 tension AC in the K. In the, for this vector you get tension AD in the I and that's it, plus 0J, plus 0K. And for this one you get 0 in the I, plus 0 in the J, minus the weight in the K. So, you know that when you add all these three Cartesian vectors, since this is equilibrium, you're going to get 0, 0, 0. And by looking at this diagram, you can already tell how we can build our three equations to solve this system. 
first we're gonna add the values for the eyes so for the eye we got minus 0 0.667 tension AB minus 0 0.667 tension AC plus tension AD is equal to 0 for the J's we got 0.333 tension AB minus 0 0.667 tension AC is equal to 0 and for the last one we got 0.667 tension AB plus 0.333 tension AC minus the weight but I'm gonna write the weight at the other side of the equal sign so let's call this equation 1 let's call this equation 2 and let's call this equation 3 so if I get equation 2 right here and I multiply it by negative 2 and I rewrite it right here so I'm gonna rewrite equation 2 multiplied by negative 2 you're gonna get that this is minus 0 0.667 tension AB plus 1.333 tension AC is equal to 0 and when you add them together with equation 3 this cancel out and this comes out to be uh, 1.667 tension AC is equal to the weight 1.667 tension AC is equal to the weight you solve for tension AC and you get that tension AC is equal to 0 0.6 times the weight then you plug this into equation 2 and when you plug it into equation 2 and you solve for tension AB you get that tension AB is equal to 1.2 times the weight and when you plug this 2 in to any equation, let's say equation 1, and you solve for tension AD, you get that tension AD is equal to also 1.2 times the weight. And now that we solve this problem this way, we have uh, all three in terms of the weight. So what we need to do, since they're telling us that the maximum tension allowed is 450 pounds, all you need to do is find which one is bigger. And as you can see, tension AD and tension AB both are the same are bigger than tension AC and they're both the same so they both are together so you gotta set these two equal to 450 pounds so tension AD which is equal to tension AB is equal to 450 pounds and tension AD and AB are 1.2 times the weight 1.2 times the weight so as you can see you solve for the weight basically dividing 450 by 1.2 and you get that the weight is equal to 375 pounds final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you